Hi everyone, I'm going to make something in my this art journal today. This one is something I picked in the cheap store. I've seen that the pages are quite nice. Uh, they are more like from for a sketch pad, but I can work with it. So I'm going to try and uh, start building a background with this distress ink and distress oxide. Uh, from Tim Holt. This is a bundled sage, iced spruce, and shaded lilac. And I'm going to use uh, some makeup sponges and quite randomly put them on my page. Like so. I didn't gesso uh, my page so it, uh, the ink will absorb quite uh, quickly in th into the page. If you want to, uh, to make sure uh, it w that it will smear and move, then you should uh, probably <laughs> uh, just so your page. I don't really care right now, so that's why I didn't do it. I just wanted some uh, nice I'm switching to another part of the sponge. You can dab it, you can move it in circles, whatever works for you. And if I think it's not strong enough, I'm just going in and I'm trying to blend it with the other color. So I won't have any harsh lines. You see I can also dab it and it's really nice. I'm thinking I want more of this. And let's see. Not usually my <laughs> colors, but I like to experiment with different combinations of colors and see what works for me. Because I have a gesso, the page is a little bit more difficult to put the ink here, but I think it's quite nice what's going on here. So you see I'm all I'm coming back where I think it needs more and I want a little bit more of this uh, sage color here and just the corner I think this is it just a little bit more here and here and I think I'm going to spray some water and hope for some uh, reaction and let's we'll see yeah there is a reaction and it gives more um, texture to the background so I'm going to dab it a little bit Ooh, I like it I hope you can see the details I really really like it so I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to come back
I'm back. So this is dry and I want to add some interest to my background. I'm still in the background and I want uh, to use this stamp. I'm going to, the stamps I'm going to use today, uh, I'm going to leave a, you a link below to where you can purchase them with a discount uh, code. And <clears throat> I want it very, very subtle. So I'm going to use the same uh, ink pad I've used here in my background and now I'm thinking maybe I'll alternate and put two colors on this and whatever happens happens when I've got this kind of a large uh, stamp I don't take it out of the acetate I'm just using it as is so I'm placing it here and pressing down. This only needs to give me some more details in the background. It doesn't need to do anything else. And again, I'll just put it here so I will have a flat surface to work with. Once again, it really doesn't matter, as I said, this is just to add interest to your background. Here we go. So putting this aside now I want a to do some to add some embellishment to my page and I'm going to use this two uh, stamps uh, I I'm going to use this stamp and I think this stamp and I'm just picking up some ugly 12 by 12 I have and I'm going to use this side and for this I'm using a Momento Tuxedo Black so I'm going to stamp it I'm going to fussy cut it and I'm going to color it and then attach it to my page so here I've got this one and I will use this, uh, this this one also and I'll be back once I'll cut it out of the page because it's just boring watching me <laughs> fussy cut it I'll be back I'm back so I've got these two pieces that I fussy cut and I left a uh, white uh, on the edges I find out that uh, when I'm doing this kind of fussy cutting for lack of better word I like to leave a little bit of white I think it adds to the whole mix and I want to color them and I want it to be quite random and splotchy like stains of color so what I'm going to do and you can use a distress oxide or distress ink you know, I'm going to do it the si simplest way I'm going to use felt pens I'm going to put some here on this uh, acrylic block I'm going to put some water here and just randomly put it here and just alternating shades of blue putting a little bit of water and again just letting it like this 
you can use watercolors you can just plain uh, color it with the felt pens whatever you like i just wanted it to be very um very loose and very um so it would look like a watercolor effect i think the better way to put it yeah and always start with the lighter color and build on it with darker color so you probably uh, don't see much of uh, what's going on here but i do uh, add more to the mix each time i'll bring it a little bit closer to the camera and i hope you can see i still got spaces that i want to fill with splotches of color so i'm going to continue this and i'll be back once it's uh, finished and dry so we can move on I'm back so here are the two pieces and I want them to go here and here so here I need to trim it a little bit and by doing it eyeballing it like this and I'm going to use a glue stick to put it down Here is the other side, the ugly 12 by 12 that I've used. some border to this page and I'm going to use this uh, leaf stamp from this set again to, uh, Momento Tuxedo Black and I'm intentionally not trying to put them straight and do I want one here yeah why not this and I want to darken the edges so I'm going to take my Stabilo all-purpose uh, all uh, pencil and I'm going to go over the edges and I'll activate it with the water in a minute I'm laying down the places that I want to darken mostly edges and in between so I will have a nice frame to my page
I'm going in in some places I think it will just add to the whole mix so okay now I'm going to take some fine a uh, brush let's see and a little bit of water and activating the stabilo oil of course you can do it with other stuff anything water reactive can do the same trick in some places I think I will have to go again and add a little bit more to darken but I'm really uh, satisfied with what I'm getting right now. I hope I'm in frame and you can see what I'm doing. Sometimes I'm moving uh, the page so it will be easier for me and I'm not sure I'm still in frame So I'm darkening where I think it needs a little bit more And just a little bit more water. Again, my page is not gessoed, so everything just absorb into the paper quite quickly. So there is, uh, you need to work fast. And just a little bit more here. And I'm quite satisfied with what's going on here. Yeah. And what do you know? I want a butterfly. So I'm going to uh, look for a butterfly here and uh, that will work with my page. And I'll be back. I'm back. So I'm going to use this butterfly. This uh, butterfly embellishments are I've bought from Flying Tiger. And no, I'm not taking them out of this uh, package. It just keeps them uh, better like this. So when I want some butterfly out of it, I'm just taking uh, the butterfly I want and leaving the others in place so I'm just trimming here the excess and again where is using this because this is quite the end of my page very simple one and i already have a saying that i want to use yeah and my saying is going here 
real not perfect. I hope it's straight. Let's see. Taking a step back, I'm known to putting things like this crooked, so yeah, it seems like it's a uh, it's good and now I just want to add something to this to the flowers um, I'm just thinking I'm going to take a felt pen and go inside here just to make it make it pop a little bit and I will add here and maybe also just a little bit more to the whole mix to make things pop I don't know yeah I think this is it so this is my page and I really had fun <laughs> experimenting with the distress inks so uh, thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below I'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now